In this video, we're going to cover some of the new changes that came along as part of the Power BI feature updates for April 2022, including things like the new format pane changes, error bars for column charts, and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan, and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So this month's feature summary update seems to be a quiet one for new features. Some of them are upcoming. So let's start with the new format pane, which is still in preview for this month. If you didn't know already, it's the new overhaul that they're doing to the format pane, which you have to enable from the preview feature settings to use. It's now slated to go on general availability from next month. So if you're not using it yet, make sure you start doing so, so you can get used to where things are when it rolls over. And along with it next month, there will also be a new option to expand all subcategories when the format pane is selected. So this mimics the way the old format pane worked and it helps if you want to see every property without having to expand and collapse categories. You can toggle this option on or off from the report settings. There were a few small improvements that were added this month. So the shape map custom color has been re-added the scatter chart show blank values toggle has been re-added. Slicers with slider type responsive toggle has been re-added. Button icon size setting has been re-added. And there was a fix to a bug that's causing a delay in cursor position for text input boxes. Outline settings for matrix and table charts have now been consolidated. So whereas before you have to flick through each of the border settings, now you can just adjust them for the whole matrix and then tweak each section from the same place. For matrix visuals, you're now able to format the column and row grand totals separately, whereas before you only had the ability to format them together. There are new options to position your legend, top right and bottom right. There also seems to be some new options to stack them. So that's pretty interesting to see. Tooltips for matrix line and area charts will now support drill actions. So a year ago, we covered this new modern visual tooltips, which allow you to drill down and drill through data from the tooltip itself. Now this will work for a few more visuals like matrix, line charts, area charts, and stacked area charts. Consumers of data sets using composite models will now require a viewer role on all data sets in that chain. So it seems that previously, anyone who needed to view the reports using composite models needed a build permission, which kind of works, but it allows them to do other things which they wouldn't need or wouldn't be permitted to do so. So instead of requiring a build, composite models now only require a viewer role. So if you only need to view the reports, you can simply just have a viewer role and that will allow you to do so without having to have more permissions than you need. Error bars is a new analysis feature that was released a few months back, which allows you to visualize uncertainty in your data. I covered how to use it in a separate video and that release focused on adding the feature on line charts. This new release introduces error bars for bar charts as well. So you'll be able to add them to your charts the same way as before using the analytics pane. You will just notice that there will be a few options like the shading won't be available, for example. And then it only also works for clustered charts where the context makes sense as opposed to the stack charts. Again, as this is a preview feature, you'll just need to make sure to enable the error bars from the preview settings before you can use them. Bookmark navigators now show the last selected bookmark per group. So basically, if you're using multiple bookmark navigator groups in a page, selecting a value from navigator A would clear your selections from navigator B. Instead of this behavior, bookmark B will now remember the selection you made regardless of the changes in the report state. And at least that's how I understood it. 
If you're wondering what bookmark navigators are and how to use them, I actually covered it in a separate video. So check it out if you haven't yet. Dynamic M query parameters are now generally available and is compatible with a few AI features like the Q&A, the composition trees, key influencers, and anomaly detection. Power BI goals have had an update this month too. So you can now bulk update goals, which is helpful when you have a lot of goals to manage. A new helpful banner will now warn you if anyone that owns a goal doesn't have access to the scorecard themselves. This is a great feature to ensure that everyone can see and keep their goals up to date. Mobile formatting options have also had an update. Your visual interaction settings will be applied to your mobile phone version too when you open it. There were a few new push notifications available for goals in Power BI. So whenever a goal is assigned to you, you'll get a notification. Also, a notification will arrive whenever anyone mentions you. This ensures that you never miss a thing. And if you tap it, it will simply take you to the goal details pane. And that's really it for this video. So as I mentioned, there wasn't a lot of new features that came out this month, so I pretty much covered the majority of the updates. However, if you're still interested in the full blog post, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.